1755, the descendants of French settlers living in eastern Canada were confronted with a dilemma, renounce their Catholic faith and pledge loyalty to the British monarchy or suffer the consequences. When the Acadian colonists refused, they were expelled from the region. Families were separated and dispersed to various countries. In 1765, a group of more than 200 Acadians arrived in South Louisiana. 23 years later, nearly 3,000 Acadians, or one-fourth of their original number, had found a new life in the Bayou State. Traveling within some of these settlers was a genetic mutation affecting the hearing of their offspring. Congenital hearing loss is actually, in the U.S., is about one per 1,000 individuals. And in the Louisiana Cajuns, it's estimated to be uh, three to six times more than that. Um, that's what we're trying to find out. Dr. Fern Shin is an associate professor of genetics at LSU's Health Science Center in New Orleans. She researches the changes in DNA that cause deafness from birth in Cajun children. The Cajuns are an example of what geneticists call a founder population, individuals separated from a larger group now sharing a smaller gene pool. If you isolate a group of people, like a few people that migrate to someplace else, or um, for some other reason, they're separated from the larger group, then you have this population with a select group of genes. If there's any mutation or changes in these genes, then you're going to see them in this population. Generations of geographical isolation and the tendency of Cajuns to marry Cajuns has caused deafness and other genetic conditions to appear more frequently within their community. For researchers, this makes it easier to study otherwise rare conditions and gene mutations found in the general population since they're shared among a smaller group. Shin works with the Health Center's Deaf Blind Project to analyze DNA samples from South Louisiana Cajuns with hearing loss. We have different methods of looking at the DNA. One of them is a called polymerase chain reaction, which is actually uh, making millions of copies of a piece of DNA for the genes causing hearing loss. And we actually look at it, we can visualize it on a gel. But also we look at DNA sequencing, in which we can actually sequence the whole genome. We just kind of read like all the sequences of all the DNA of the individual. Researchers scan the genes, which can number over 20,000 for a single person. Using a specialized software, they filter these down to just the genes involved in hearing loss. This process is called bioinformatics. It generates a visual representation of the relationship between genes known to cause hearing loss, genes discovered by Dr. Shin's team, and genes which could be related to both. We have discovered some new genes um, associated with hearing loss. Um, some of these genes have already been known to be involved in the development of the inner ear. Uh, which is involved with hearing. What has not been discovered is that mutations or changes in, their, in the DNA of these genes have been associated with hearing loss. That has not been discovered in the past, and we're discovering some of these in these families. While Shin hopes to locate the genetic causes of congenital hearing loss in Cajuns, she also wants to emphasize the importance of genetic testing for these Acadian families. So it's very important for them to be um, aware of their um, chances of having other children with hearing loss. And also they have what chances are uh, of them to have children with, who have normal hearing. The other reason is because once we can provide the diagnosis for these parents, then they can actually have this official diagnosis they can actually use to obtain services for education, special resources, accommodations, anything that their child needs so they can become more successful 